Hi, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. In this week, we're going to take a look at the file sharing service that's built into OS X Server. Now, file sharing is one of those services that most people would assume they would get a server for uh, to be able to manage uh, different files and folders that they want to share with their devices across their network and have them hosted in a centralized place uh, is usually what most people think about with file sharing. Now, one of the things before we get started I just want to point out is that you don't have to have server itself to do file sharing. Uh, as a matter of fact, if you just come in here to System Preferences, uh, you'll see that we've got a sharing area right here. And right inside System Preferences is a file sharing setup. So it allows you to uh, basically check those things out. You can uh, share files from, from here. You can see sharing is on. Uh, you can see how it tells you how to attach to these different volumes using AFP or SMB, which I'm going to cover a little bit more in detail. And you can see I've got these various shared folders here that I can add, and then I can set the user's permissions uh, over here on the side. And so uh, basically that's how you could do that within server. Uh, it's uh, within your OS X service itself without having to use a server. So you don't necessarily need a server to do uh, file sharing, but as you'll see, we can do a number of different things with it because of the server software. Uh, so let me just put this down here and come back into the app here. Now, as we get started, uh, one question I get frequently that I want to answer is uh, people ask how you set up OS X to manage your file sharing on a NAS or a network attached storage drive. Now, a network attached storage drive is usually a drive that you would connect directly to your router. You do it through Ethernet and then share files that way so that your computer doesn't necessarily have to be on, uh, but everything would happen through that NAS or that network attached uh, drive. Now, the problem with that is, is those drives have their own uh, software built into them. They're run by their own uh, server type software and so OS 10 server does not manage those kind of devices. Uh, so if you want to use OS 10 server to manage your devices then what you would do instead of a NAS is you would just get another drive that you could hook up to your server uh, through USB 3 or through Thunderbolt uh, whichever way you want to do that and then your server would then become the software that would manage that shared drive. Okay, so you want to you have to pick kind of one or the other to make that work, but I get that question a lot, so I always want to answer that when we talk about file sharing. So now that we have that uh, kind of out of the way, let's go ahead and look at the file sharing service. Now, uh, you can see here across the top, I've already started the service. Uh, file sharing is usually one of those services that sort of starts right away when you start using OS X server. I've got a settings area here and a connected users. And, and this connected users area will show me different users that are connected to any shares that I've got at any given time. And I'll show you what that looks like when we actually show you how to connect to your shares. Let's come back to settings. So you can see I've got a green light because I've already started the service, so you can uh, attach to the file sharing through the server here. Uh, like all of the other services, I've got permissions. I can edit those permissions uh, overall for file sharing uh, to determine if all users can access it or only some users. Uh, again, that would control the users that I've got over here as network users, which I showed you how to set up in a previous screencast. Uh, or I can say when connecting from uh, either all networks, private networks, or only some networks, where I can just specify specific networks that I want them to be able to uh, access my shares from. So for instance, if I only want them to access it within my network, I could set up those addresses there, uh, or I can do all networks. I'm just going to leave it at all networks for our purposes here, but just wanted to show you that you could fine tune that a bit. Let's go ahead and cancel that. Now, one of the, the newer features that's built into file sharing is this create personal folders when using uh, when users connect on iOS. And so this is a, a, is a new service that uh, is brought out uh, to help those that are using iOS devices. I'm going to cover this in depth in another screencast because I really want to go over all the details for you and kind of tell you what the differences are between this and WebDAV. But I just wanted to point out that that, that is a change to the service and we will be covering that. Now, down below here, you can see I've got all my file shares, uh, and these are the basic uh, shared folders that I've got. Uh, to add new folders, I can just click the plus here. Uh, to edit a folder, all I've got to do is go into it. I can either double click it or click the pencil down here to edit it. And this is the uh, file sharing uh, interface. And as you can see uh, from the top here, we've got our folder. We've got the path to our folder right here in terms of where it's located on my Mac itself. Uh, I've got the name uh, of the actual folder here. I can browse to uh, change that folder to a different one. And down here, I've got this uh, access area down here where I can choose how I'm going to access this shared folder. 
Uh, you notice I can access it from iOS. Again, this is a new checkbox that is brought into the system, which I'm going to cover in a little bit. I can do it by SMB, which is a Windows uh, file sharing protocol and a little bit you know, uh, more general. And Apple is uh, tending to move towards SMB. I expect someday uh, AFP will go away, but uh, we haven't really seen that yet. But uh, SMB is, is, a, is a bit more of a universal standard. Uh, AFP is Apple's file sharing protocol. And so again, that, uh, you can use that as well. Uh, WebDAV uh, is basically uh, the ability to connect through the web service. And WebDAV is used uh, for Apple devices for iOS devices. That's another way you can connect. So as you can see, WebDAV was the only way we could do it before. Now there is this iOS uh, access button as well, uh, which I'll cover in a minute. And then we have our guest uh, users, uh, whether I want guests to be able to access this folder or not. Then I can choose uh, what type of connections I want. And I can say, hey, I only want encrypted connections. In other words, I only want it to be uh, over um, you know, an SSL uh, type connection, not just an open connection. And so I could check that for security if I wanted to do that. And then I've got this uh, home directories over here, which I'm going to talk about in a little bit on how to put your home directories on the server. So those are the different access uh, points that we've got or ways that I could access this particular folder. And I just choose what I want to use there. Now, in terms of permissions down here, uh, these are the people that have permission uh, to access the folder. And you can see there's myself right there. I've got read-write access, and so does everybody to this particular folder. If I wanted to change that, I could just come in here, and in this drop-down, you see I've got a few different options I can use. I can use read and write, uh, which basically means I have access to the folder, so I can see it. That's what the read is. And I can also write to it. So I can also add folders to it or change folders inside there. Uh, I've also got read, read only that I could choose, which means that I can only see the folder, but I can't change anything in it. I can just see what's in it. I can say write only, which means that I can't see anything in the folder. I can just write to the folder. So, you know, if you've got somebody that you want to add files to a folder, but you don't want them to see what's in there, you can choose this access, and they can just add things to the folder, but they don't know what's in there. It just kind of goes inside. Or I can say no access, which means they don't even know that that folder exists. It's just uh, invisible to them. And that's how that works for everyone else. Okay, So I can change those permissions at any time. So that gives you an idea of how those different permissions work. And I can add users too just by clicking the plus here and then adding a user to this folder and giving them access. So that's, uh, that's how we edit those folders. And that's how we set up permissions for the folders right here in the interface. So I'm just going to say cancel because I'm going to leave it all alone. So that shows you those interfaces. Again, I can remove shares at any time just by clicking uh, the minus here. Now, once you've added a share and once you've turned on the service, uh, one thing you may want to do is come up here to your router, if you're using an Apple router, and just check to make sure uh, that the file sharing service is listed here and that the right ports are open uh, so that you've got access, if you want to access it remotely through your router, that you've got that set up so that it is accessible. Uh, that's one of the things I always like to point out. Uh, now, let me just show you uh, how to add a folder. Okay, Let's say I want to add a folder. and So what I'm going to do is actually uh, create one. So I'm going to say plus here. And I'm going to create a new folder uh, for home folders. So I'm just going to say right here on my server. And I'm just going to say home folders. Because I want to show you how you can create these home folders on the server. So you see I've got my home folders folder there. I'm going to choose it. And so what it's going to do is add that for me. It might take a minute for it to uh, get added here so that we can see it. OK, there it is. There's my home folder. So let's go ahead and edit that. And so what I want to do with this folder is I'm going to make it accessible. Uh, and I don't want it accessible by iOS. Uh, I'm going to make it accessible by SMB or AFP uh, and make that happen. And then what I want to do here is click this home directories over. And I can choose SMB or AFP. Uh, I'll just use AFP for right now because it's just a home folder in my server there. Now, what I can do now is choose the permissions on who has access to this. And what I want to do is the staff group, which is my primary group, which includes all my users in here, uh, I want to give that group read and write access as well so that they can use this for their home folders. OK, so I've got that set and ready to go now. And it's going to be used for home directories. I'll say OK. And so it's going to go now and fix those permissions and make those changes to the folder for me. So there I've got my home folder. Now what I'm going to do is let's go over to users here and let's go into John Doe for a minute. I'm just going to double click on him so I get into his window here. And I'm going to add this home folder for John. And you can see where I've got his home folder here. I um, want to make sure that uh, that's all set. I'm going to say home folders. And so now he's got access to the, he's going to have access to where his home folders will be created on the server. 
Now, I can limit his disk usage if I want to here to a certain size. Maybe I don't want John to be using up too much of my server, so I can limit his size on here if I want to do that. Um, so I'm just going to I'm going to actually just leave it alone for these purposes, but you can add that in there and choose the size. And I'm just going to say okay to have those home folders added. And so now John Doe's home folders reside on the server. So let me show you what that looks like. We're going to come up here to the server. We're going to go to storage and we're going to go to our server hard drive here and we just got to kind of drill in drill in here. We're going to go to uh, documents because I believe that's where I put it and we'll come down to home folders and you can see right here now John Doe has his home folders in there. You can see he's got his desktop and all of that. Now they're set on the server. So what that means is that when John logs in with a network account on any computer on my network, his home folders will show up on that Mac's desktop and they'll be pulled from the server here to that desktop so he's got those all set up and ready to go. All right, so that's how that works. Let me just come back in here to file sharing. So that gives you an idea of how file sharing works. Again, very uh, kind of a high level overview of how this works. I'm going to go into a little bit more detail on uh, how to connect to these file shares, uh, some more detail on some of the iOS ways to connect to the file shares, and also a little bit more on uh, permissions and how do you fix permissions and things related to file sharing. So that's all I have for this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac. If you're interested in help in setting up your own server, feel free to contact me at todd at toddoltoff.com.